And moving from international news to our own backyard with a live look outside right now. That's right. You're looking at the pond on Purdue's golf course. People have been out on the green all day soaking in the sun, enjoying the game. Beautiful weather. And from what we hear, it may get a little too steamy this weekend to enjoy golf. Chad, we're going to need to break out the sunscreen too, right? Uh, uh, yeah, humidity going up in a big way, especially by early next week. But today, you know, it's drier here than it is in New Mexico. It's That's juicy right. out there and here. It's desert dry on precision. No rain to speak of. Just a few wet, a few fair weather cumulus clouds bubbling up and it's going to stay that way. The clouds will tend to burn off somewhat this evening and then as we get into tomorrow, very dry, breezy, pretty high brush fire danger as the heat starts to come in from the west. Now notice there's not much going on out here. Just a storm out here in the Rockies and all this severe weather in the eastern Rockies. And we had places last night around Cheyenne, Wyoming, uh, Wyoming they got four inches of rain and a lot of hail. That system's going to push the heat eastward. So once we uh, get into the weekend, we're going to see 90s around here. And Sunday, temperatures in some places as high as the mid 90s. Outside we go, though, really nice today. We'll take this anytime. The evening looks very, very good. If you have a walk planned, picnic, anything, we're going to drop to 83 by 7, 76 at 9, and 66 at 11 o'clock, becoming clear. Winds slowing down, and they'll be out of the east around 5 miles an hour. Another very comfortable night. We've had a string of comfortable nights, warm, dry days. Very crisp nights, 53 for the low at Rochester, about 55 here in Lafayette, West Lafayette, 57 at Perryville, 54 Frankfurt, and a 53 at Burlington. Now tomorrow looks like a good day, but boy, the fire danger going up. We're going to have a pretty stiff southwest wind, extremely low humidity, and with 86 degrees, be aware of the danger from any sort of burning. 86 in Frankfurt, 88 Attica, and 85 at Winnemac. The humidity is low is about 17% tomorrow afternoon. Saturday, just a hair more humid, but still pretty high fire danger. 90 Lafayette, 92 Monticello, 90 Burlington, and 92's Winnemac, Madariaville, all the way westward towards Kentland and Morocco. On future casts, again, we're mainly clear tonight, but as we get into the day tomorrow, a few little fair weather clouds bubbling up here and there with the warm temperatures. Notice the highs around 86, 87, 90 on Saturday, just a few scattered clouds. It's the same thing on Sunday. Now, the good news about Monday is we may get a couple little storms to pop Monday afternoon and evening. About 30% coverage. Again, most of you will stay dry, but there may be a downpour or two here and there. By Tuesday, scattered storms, mainly afternoon and evening. Good news is we've got rain potential. Bad news is not everybody's going to get it because these are going to be pulse scattered storms. They pulse up, they peak in intensity, then they kind of collapse. All the good upper level winds for organized widespread storms will be north of our area. Maybe an early shower Wednesday. Otherwise, the sun's back out, dries out again. And as we get into next week, very dry air will bleed in. So we're going to kind of erase some of the moisture gains we get uh, from any rain uh, next week. Seven day forecast. There's your string of 90s. We've got a 90 Saturday, 93 Sunday, a 92 Monday, but then cooling off somewhat with time. We back down into the 80s Tuesday into Wednesday, but back up to 87 as we head into Thursday. So bottom line is the heat's back, but at least we've got a few storms in the forecast. And the best potential storms would be on Tuesday. Okay, we'll look forward to that. Yes. All right, Chad, okay. thank you.